So in this video, we're gonna briefly talk about the best Parker style gel refills sold in 2023. Uh, it's a bit of an interesting query because typically you don't see Parker style refills using gel ink. Typically a Parker style refill would be a ballpoint refill using ballpoint ink, it's an oil-based ink. And then a gel pen would use a larger refill like this because gel ink being water-based it tends to uh, run through more quickly, uh, run out more quickly, and uh, you usually uh, usually use a larger refill to accommodate for that. But some Parker style refills like these are gel, and uh, some of them are pretty good. Some of them are not so good, and uh, there's not that many of them. So I tried to get as many of them as I could, and some may not be sold or may not be as available anymore, but this is as exhaustive a list as I could. And then I have two quick gel-like refills, which we'll talk about here. Uh, well, one gel-like, which is the Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, and then one Parker-like gel refill, which is this Pilot Rollerball refill, which is similar in size and shape. Okay, so we're gonna hop right into the list, and we have a little writing sample right here. We have the Meister. This is a needle tip style gel refill. The Oto. This is the flash dry gel in the popular flash dry Parker style pen. It looks like a Parker Jotter pen. These two refills, I don't know if they're made in the same factory or by the same company or what, but they're remarkably similar. The inks are a little different, but the bodies are essentially the same. So I don't know if it's a rebranded version of the same thing or what. Next we have the Parker gel. This is a popular refill from Parker. It's the uh, the Quink, Q-U-I-N-K, uh, -I is the uh, ballpoint style. And there's also a gel style. This would be uh, sold with a Jotter gel, which is a not that popular, but it's a nice way to go with a Parker style gel refill in that Jotter. Then we have this one. This is the uh, Caveco in the gel, G2, which is the official shape here. If you look at the ISO spec, this is called the G2 refill. And this is the gel ceramic roller 0.7 millimeter. Uh, next up we have the, actually let's talk about this one. This is the Monteverdi, which is a uh, popular company for pens, but also they make a bunch of refills for popular pens. So this is basically their branded take on the uh, Parker gel. And I kind of have these separated into kind of tranches, which we'll talk about in a minute. Next up, we have the Schneider Jellion Plus. This is the uh, plastic body gel refill from uh, Schneider. It's a German, German pen company. The older model, this is the Schneider Jellion 39. This was replaced with the Jellion Plus. Then we have the uh, Pierre Cardin. Very similar refill, nice writer. Kind of hard to find these ones these days. I'm not sure if they're still made, but they were available for a long time. And lastly, this is the Premic, which is a Swiss company. They make this gel refill. And I'm not entirely sure if this one is still available either, but I figured I would include it. It's not that reliable as we'll see. Okay, and now just the general sort of, like I said, the tranches or the, the shapes or styles or whatever you wanna call it, the sub variants. We have the needle tip, metal body, and then standard tip plastic body. Uh, these are plastic body too, but again, in the needle tip. So uh, we'll just do some quick writing and I'll talk a little bit about them. Be using a trusty Rotring 600, there's many, many options you could use. And I'll uh, we'll start with this flash dry gel. So basically this is the most popular needle tip offering in a ballpoint pen. You don't typically see the uh, what you don't typically see is a Parker style refill in a ballpoint ink with a needle tip. I'm not sure if any of those exist because you typically need the uh, lighter ink, the water-based ink for this tiny little uh, aperture here, but maybe they exist. You know, there are some thinner piped or thinner tipped ballpoint pens but none I know of that come to mind right now. The flash dry gel 
is easy to find. It's quite affordable. Uh, you could buy it in this pen right here, which is a really nice looking jotter like pen that I really like. And you could buy these on Amazon for maybe like five, six bucks, seven bucks. I bought this one in person for about three or four dollars. It was a great deal. Uh, so you're getting a high quality gel refill and one of the more re reliable gel refills on this list for a very good deal. So I like this one a lot. This is definitely one to note. As I said, the Oto and the Meister, or the Meister and the Oto in this case, are essentially, from what I could tell, basically the same refill. The bodies are remarkably similar and uh, they write very similarly. The Oto ink is a little bit darker, uh, so maybe that's the variant. I'm not really sure, but I have trouble differentiating between the two and they look almost identical when they are put side by side. I'll put the Oto on the top here. You can see Oto gel. And they're just really, really similar down to from pretty small features. You can see the two shapes are the same here of the writing tip. The, the little like clear shoulder piece is the same. Uh, the printing is basically identical. You can see Oto gel kind of stamped in there. And then here we see Meister also stamped in there. And then all these little features are, are essentially the same. So I have a feeling even the gradient here, like as you see that follower have some ink kind of gradient up out of it, it looks like it's a pretty similar mix, right? You would just see uh, from a chroma, chromatographically or chromatography standpoint, as the ink separates, you see the color banding and it looks almost the same. Uh, so my guess is that it's basically the same thing rebranded, but, but who knows? Anyway, if you're looking for a flash, sorry, if you're looking for a uh, Parker style gel refill and needle tip, go ahead and get the Odo flash dry gel. It's reliable, easy to find and affordable. I like that one a lot. Now we'll move over to uh, these three. We have the uh, Parker style, the Parker, the Monteverdi and the Caveco. Uh, out of these three, they're all fine. I would note that the Parker style, the Parker and the Monteverdi are very wet writers. This is the Parker in the medium. It's also sold in a fine. And we'll see that here. That's the Quink, uh, sorry, not the Quink Flow. Ignore that one. This is the Quink Gel in the medium. Uh, it's also sold in a fine. And uh, again, you could see here, uh, the best comparison would be the Parker and the Monteverdi. Uh, they're quite wet riders. You see a really thick, solid line there on the Monteverdi. So this is the It's nice and wet, smooth, it's a good writer, more reliable than most. A lot of the refills in the category have reliability issues and the ink, the refill will look full, but it will really write, uh, it'll just, will be very inconsistent. And that'll typically happen for, in about a year of owning it. The issue is if it sat on the store shelf for a year or at some point and you don't really know how long it sat there, some of these things will just show up and they won't write well from the start. <clears throat> Moving over to the Monteverdi, I will note that this is the ceramic gel broad. It is sold in a, a medium as well. So if this is too wet for you, you can size it down. I think it's also sold in a fine, but if you want more of a rollerball or fountain pen like experience, you can move over to the Monteverdi in the broad. For some of these like the Parker, it's much easier and even cheaper to find it in black than it is in blue. Uh, typically I prefer blue and you get more color variation and it's more fun to write with for me, but uh, you can usually make it easier on yourself by opting for a blue. See a nice color there, kind of a greenish tint to it. Uh, definitely a nice distinct blue. It's cr pretty close to the Parker, clearly uh, I think the two were made, like Monteverdi was probably made with the Parker in mind since it's a cheaper way to get it. And the Monteverdi you buy in a, uh, I'm sure I bought this in maybe a six pack or a nine pack, something like that. Uh, and it's a pretty good deal. It's like, I don't know, 10 or 12 bucks for six of these or seven of these or something like that. Uh, but 
it's a nice it's a nice package and i like these refills a fair bit but again you're, you're getting a very wet rider and you could see here with some of these strokes you're getting a little bit less reliability and then you're getting a might be hard to pick up but a little bit of that sort of railroading like that and it happens when you have a wetter ink and the ball kind of pushes some of the ink out of the way as you write between the two between the monteverdi and the parker i'd say get the parker it's a little bit more expensive but i think it's a better refill the uh Caveco is, is totally fine that's one of the ones i've had uh, some issues with but that's an older refill so i don't know if i'd really judge it so much in this test but it, on the whole it's it's fine and if you buy a Caveco gel roller or whatever they call that pen the, i think it's just called a roller sport roller or something like that then the refill you get with it is totally adequate but i wouldn't go ahead and track that one down it's a drier writer relative to the Parker and the Monteverdi. Totally fine. Again, nothing to uh, get too excited about. Okay, so now we have, I would say, the most interesting set in the bunch. We have the Pierre Cardin, the Premic, and the Premic I will drop from this consideration just because it's hard to find. I haven't seen them around for a while, and this is the one I've had the most reliability problems with it. It's just not a reliable refill. So I won't put it into consideration. The Pierre Cardin, which is fun to write with, but hard to find. The uh, Jellion 39 and the Jellion Plus. Jellion 39 for a long time was the flagship best in breed of the uh, Parker style gel refills. Uh, this was just like, okay, you want a gel refill for your Rotrink 600 or your other Parker pen? Just get a Jellion 39, and that's kind of like the end of the discussion. It's largely, I think, being replaced with the Jellion Plus, which is essentially, <clears throat> it's hard to say, but it seems like it's basically a slightly upgraded version of this. The two, uh, my Jellion 39 had some reliability issues, which is older, so I won't read too much into that. But from what I could tell, the uh, the Jellion, it's spelled Gel Ion or G Lion or whatever you want to say. It's the Jellion 39, and then the new one is the Jellion Plus. The Plus, from what I found, is more reliable and a more consistent writer than the older models. Is it perfect? No, it has some reliability issues, especially in scribbling like this. You can see it's getting lighter. This is a very absorbent paper, so there's no smearing, but you have some more issues with like the that kind of ball running a little bit dry. But I like this refill a lot. And I've had this one for uh, six months, nine months for a while. So uh, this is the Jellion. I keep wanting to write 39, but it's the Jellion Plus in blue. It has a nice color to it. It's a good rider. It's fun to use. For some reason, this one is kind of like acting like it's running out, even though there's a lot of ink left in it. So I think you're getting to one of the issues with these refills. If you don't buy them and use them pretty much immediately, you see something like this. And then, or if you store them on their side or upside down, you basically see an issue like this where you have ink, you have an air gap, you have more ink. So you don't have that, that follower giving the pressure into the ink to push it down into the system. And then it starts to act light like this. Correcting that issue can be a real problem. So you wanna get these refills, and ideally keep them stored upright and then use them as quickly as you can. Don't just you know put them on their side for a year then be like, oh, I forgot about that gel refill I bought. The uh, last one to look at is this one. This is the Pierre Cardin. And this one I think is getting to be hard to find. I've had this one for a while. You used to be able to buy these very easily on eBay and they're really nice writers, super smooth, very reliable and they have a very distinct color, kind of almost more of a like navy, I guess. And this one is well over a year old, still riding very reliably, even at, at speed and no smearing there. It's a good rider. I like them a lot, but I don't know if they're still available. It was never really clear who made these, or is it a rebranded version of 
the uh it's not i know it's not a schneider because you could tell there's some distinctive distinctive differences is it a rebranded version of a premic or something is hard to say uh but again if you find these it's worth tracking them down i like them a lot i've had them in blue and black uh, i don't think there's any other colors or sizes or anything like that so to get into that last variant i would say what you want to do is get the jellion plus pick up some of them use them as soon as you can store them properly the easy flow 9000 is a hybrid style so an oil-based ink so it's not a gel ink but it has that sort of gel type feel to it, it has that smoothness and it has a uh, very bold, distinct ink. Again, it is oil-based and these have reliability issues of their own. So it, it's definitely not a cure-all if you want a gel ink. Again, it's not a gel ink, but a lot of people just go with this because you get a very legible dark ink. <clears throat> and then uh, it's a fun refill to use. They stopped making the broad, which is something we'll have to keep in mind. And then the last refill we'll look at is this. This is the BLGS-5. It's from Pilot. It's their mini rollerball gel refill. It's a gel refill, but it's not quite in a Parker style. It's a good rider. Nothing too exceptional. It's a little short. This one's an extra fine, so it can get broader than this. That would be like the uh, BLGS-7, say. Pretty similar to Parker style, not quite there, and it's not interchangeable, so you don't really have to worry about it. Uh, but again, it kind of looks like this, and in fact, it'll fit a couple pens with a little shim behind there. It won't fit this rotring; it's it's too wide. But something to keep in mind. You can see it's too wide for the the top section there. Something to keep in mind uh, because Parker, uh, sorry, Pilot does have some. Some nice pens that'll accommodate this, and then you can put this in a few different pens out there. So I know we're kind of splitting hairs here and probably moving quickly, but I would say if you're looking for a Parker style gel refill, probably the best way to go is the, if you can find it, I would recommend the Jellion Plus. If you can't find that or you want to get a deal, you can get the Jellion 39, but given that these things get old and they, they stop working prematurely, I would go with the Jellion Plus. If you want a needle tip, go ahead and get the, uh, right here, the Oto Flash Dry. It's a nice way to go, more reliable than most. And again, you could have these things very affordably. If you want something weird and fun, you could try a Pierre Cardin if you could find it might be difficult. If you want a general good reliability, reliable one with a, that's a wet writer, get the Parker gel. I like these. A lot of people, I think, find them to be too wet and too smudgy, but I do enjoy using it. They are easy to find. And then if you want a good deal, you have the Monteverdi gel. Again, very wet writer, especially in the broad, but uh, affordable. Easy to find on Amazon and some specialty pen resellers that have Monteverdi, which is, again, they make a lot of refills for a lot of different companies. So this is a pretty easy way to go and you can get, a, again, a six pack or a 10 pack or 12 pack, whatever it is. So I'd say these are the four notable ones. Generally speaking, reliability issues aside, if you could store these properly and get a good one, then the uh, Jellion Plus would be my favorite overall. And it's something I would generally keep in a pen like the Rotring 600, whatever. Usually I, I keep a Jellion in at least one of these. So I think that covers it. If you have any questions or any refills I missed, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.